IVF is a big procedure and it is a big decision for a couple when they take to go for an IVF cycle. And please take time from your busy schedules because usually patients who are going infertility, they are also leading a very hectic lifestyle. IVF is a big procedure and it is a big decision for a couple when they take to go for an IVF cycle. So obviously in their mind there comes the question that what are the do's and don'ts for IVF cycle. So we should divide basically IVF cycle into different parts. One part is when you are waiting for the cycle to begin. The IVF cycle is yet to begin and the doctor has put you on some medications maybe to optimize your egg reserve, your semen quality or maybe your uterus texture or anything or maybe you have had an IVF failure and you are still under investigation and then you are planning for the next cycle. So what to do and what not to do. So to do comes a healthy lifestyle, good sleep habits, don't take stress. That is easy to say but I know it is difficult to follow but still you put you need to put all your stress hormones at bay because stress hormones are a big dampening in any IVF success rate in any IVF cycle plus you have to eat very healthy you have to take all the multivitamins and maybe the preconceptional drugs that the doctor has advised you and all the medications on time and you need to follow all the precautions that a doctor has given you stay out of all sorts of drug abuse all sorts of alcohol cigarette intake Anything that you are doing that is not natural, please don't do it. Try to exercise because exercise increases your blood supply to all the spaces, to all the organs and also the genital parts. So you please exercise daily, maybe half an hour if you are running a very busy schedule. And please take time from your busy schedules because usually patients who are going infertility, they are also leading a very hectic lifestyle. So it's very important. So you need to like invest your time into other things, whatever you feel that takes your stress. Maybe somebody feels like going out for painting, somebody wants to do a meditation or some other recreational activities. Fourthly, obviously you are using the electronic media in, at your workplace, but please try to curtail yourself from it when you are at your home or you are at your ease. Fourthly, avoid all people who are giving stress to you. So anybody in your neighborhood also or in your relation who is talking all about your fertility issues and giving you a lot of stress between your couples. So you please avoid talking to these people also on mobile phones also or using any gadgets with them or interacting with them. Try to maintain a, like a positive attitude with positive people who are giving you positive feedback. Now coming to the IVF cycle, when your medications have started, the doctor has finally decided your hormones are through and the doctor has decided to put you on ovulation induction injections. So during this time also, you need to follow the same lifestyle that you were following earlier and plus you need to take plenty of liquids, a high protein diet because now you are like preparing for the egg to be harvested and retrieved. So obviously you need to have a good body with a good physique to maintain that. Fourthly, take all your injections on time. Try to maintain the cold chain. If you are taking injections home, then you need to try to maintain the cold chain. Try to avoid taking injections home. You can take the injections at the hospital because there are trained nurse will be giving it to you. Plus the cold chain will be properly maintained. If you are not having any backup in your refrigerator system, please don't try to take your injections home because the cold chain is, forms a very important part when we are doing ovulation induction to the patient. Fourthly, now coming to the like your eggs are ready, you have been stimulated thoroughly and now coming to the procedure that is the ovum pickup that is the most important day of the IVF cycle because ovum pickup that day only decides how many eggs are retrieved and what kind of embryos we are going to make. So first and foremost you have to follow the doctor's instructions, give all your blood tests, the hormonal tests that are required before the ovum pickup. Thirdly, take your last injection that is called the trigger injection or you say the maturity injection of the eggs on time. That is very important. If it is told to you to be injected at 2 a.m. in the night, please do it. Don't do it five minutes before or five minutes later than that. Please reach the hospital five minutes earlier and just see to it that you are injected on time. Secondly, that cold chain of the last injection, the trigger injection also has to be maintained on time. It is never to be kept in the freezer. It is always kept in the lower compartment of the fridge. So try to just emphasize this that it is not kept in the freezer. Many patients take the injections and put it in the freezer. Only the ice pack needs to be kept in the freezer, not the injection. Then when you are traveling back to the hospital, you are supposed to take it as it is and get yourself injected. 
Fourthly, on the day of ovum pickup, you have to be minimum of six hours fasting before the procedure because anesthesia, general light anesthesia is given to you. You have to follow all the instruction given by the anesthetist. If by chance you are having any medical disorders and you are taking medications for any thyroid disorders or hypertension, do take it with sips of water as your doctor has instructed. If you are diabetic, then definitely if you are on insulin, you need to see your endocrinologist plus the infertility specialist and you take your precaution list and follow it very cautiously. Fourthly, you have to maintain abstinence with your husband minimum of two to five days before the ovum pickup. So that is very necessary because one sample of fresh sperm is usually taken on the day of oocyte retrieval. So these are some of the precautions that need to be carried by that need to be followed by the patient very nicely. Fourthly, don't use any deodorants, any perfumed soap for taking a bath also on the day of ovum pickup because all things which are carrying high level of perfumes are gametotoxic. So this needs to be followed, like it is very important that you follow it. You remove all your nail paints, that is very essential. Don't put any makeup, any lipstick at the time of ovum pickup because you will be in the operation theater. And fourthly, you have to be very much stress-free and very much cool and confident. You put all your anxiety at bay and leave everything to us doctors. So to have a very healthy ovum pickup and to get healthy oocytes.